All right, let's talk about my file preparation, file management, and how I import stuff and prepare it before editing. So this is a typical folder for a small, quick shoot, a project that I'm about to edit. And I basically sort it while shooting by day and camera because I don't want to end up with the same file names for each project. I rename those. So I'm selecting all, just Command and A, right click, rename, and then you have a few options in Finder directly. Replace text, so you could change this to a different thing. Format, then you can change the file name itself, have an index number or counter or date. But what I like is to keep the original file name and add text before. And usually it goes like camera model, project name in this case, it's Kira. Then sometimes I have like a day one and then I put the style of a camera profile here. Sometimes I shoot as log. Uh, most likely I have my own standard profile STD. Then the card, of course, sometimes I shoot multiple cards on one day. So I have the card here as well. And then I have a underscore and then it adds the original name here as well. And then I click rename. And that's it. That's how easy that is. This is what I do. I rename those files before I import that into Final Cut and I rename those directly in Finder. It's a tool built in. You don't need any special tool or automation or whatever. Just use Finder. It works quite nice. So, and what I would do now is maybe, depending on the project, I have a templates folder, FCP templates. So I have a project template that I created myself with all the essentials, but I also got a template folder structure from Matthew O'Brien. You should check his YouTube channel out. He has awesome fun cut content there. And I kind of modified it. And depending on the project, I use this um, for a bigger project. Uh, this is nice. So I basically just copied those, Command C, put them here and move those into media, video. So and then there is the project file and I would open this template. And what I have here is some favorite stuff, sound effects that I use all the time and a sequence with like leaks and stuff like that and sound effects wishes that I created. Much like Brian has as well, I changed mine a bit. He uses events to sort things. I'm more like using folders and keywords a bit more, but that's how I work anyways. So what I do now is basically just go into my video folder and just drag and drop those onto the edit event. And now those folders get keyword collections and I can start editing. I don't import those to my library. So import, I selected leave files in place and keyword collections from finder tags or from folders. All right, that's it. That's all I wanted to talk about just to show you how I prepare my footage before I import it into Final Cut. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Back to work.